new live action Peter Pan trailer chocks with major character changes. Diversity nonsense. Disney has been accused of pushing a book agenda. Disney's Peter Pan and Wendy was lambasted across social media after its first trailer Tuesday featured female loss by boy characters. The preview of the latest live action remake appeared to follow similar story beats of the original J.M. Barry story until the characters reached the fabled Neverland. Upon coming face to face with the Lost Boys, Wendy played by Ever Anson comment that the kids are not just boys. But we are not all boys, Wendy remarked, so one of the girls replied. This change the century-old original story caught the attention of several social media users who attacked it as another attempt by Disney to push includes politics. I mean, of course, poorly Bush editor Jerry Bear tweeted, IDC, I will be restreaming, just need them to take the girls out of the last voice, though I'm so sorry. I'm all for girl power, but the whole point of The Lost Boys is that they've never seen a girl before. Twitter user Stompfree wrote. Another Twitter user Larry's comment looks terrible. Who looks bad? Tinkerbell isn't Tink, and The Lost Boys became girls now. The Forces of Light Entertainment Channel explained. The whole point of Wendy and Tinkerbell was not was to include girls in the appeal of Peter Pan. Last boys being girls is just stupid. Girls were already included in this world. YouTube agent Fury wrote, Lost boys are girls now. And considering the rest, I'm generally surprised that I didn't just name the film of Wendy at this point. The Diversity nonsense at Disney continues, Peter Pan is now Indian, Tinkerbell is black, the Lost Boy now have girls among them, truly a reflection of the UK in 1911, exactly as J.M. Barry envisioned, a writer Nobel Brown Twitter. The movie is set to premiere on the streaming platform Disney Plus on April 28. This change to the 1953 animated movie Peter Pan appeared to be the latest in a long line of reboots and sequels, men from Disney, that have sought to update classic films with folk themes, as reported by Fox News Digital. This likely contributed to a painful month for the Disney Corporation financially. In February, Disney announced a massive layoff of her 7,000 employees, along with a 22.4 million subscriber loss to their streaming service. This followed a streaking of box office failures such as Lightyear and Strain the World, both of which promoted LGBTQ themes in their plot.